Hello friends, this is Mahesh. Here we are to learn aptitude. So, so many people are worrying about aptitude. I am going to give you an easiest way to learn aptitude. Are you excited? I am 200% excited to teach you that new way of solving aptitude. That is the easiest way here. So, let's get started. At the beginning, we are going to take direct and indirect method. This is the method we need to solve around 60 percentage of the problems in aptitude. First of all, direct and indirect method. Basically, maths is divided into two parts. Direct and direct, which is nothing but directly proportion to certain things, inversely proportion to certain things. Direct is nothing but if two variables are there, they are directly proportion to each other. Directly proportion means don't worry, that's not a big deal. It's very simple. First of all, take those two variables, x, y, two variables, x, y, we have taken. If the x value is increased, y value is also increasing. If x value is decreased, y value is also decreasing. This is direct method, directly proportional. If one increases, other is also increases. If one decreases, other is also decreases. This is direct. When you come to the method indirect, what will be there? You yourself know, you guessed it. That's right. Inversely proportional. Take the same two variables x and y. When you increase the value of x, y will decrease. When you decrease the value of x, y will increase. Vice versa. Both will applicable here. So let's get started. Why direct and indirect method? Because we are going to solve math using one or two steps. We will get solution in two steps. If you are well aware about this method, unknown method, which is nothing but my own method. So, if you know that method clearly, you could solve around 60 percentage of the problems, already I told you, around 60 per percentage of the problem in 20 to 30 seconds. Whatever the difficult question it is, you could solve in 20 to 30 seconds. Let's get started. At the beginning, we'll go to the direct method. As I already told you, when x increases, y is also increases. When x decreases, y is also decreases means the method name is direct method, nothing but directly proportional to one another. So here unknown, no and known value. There will be a, always will be given values to find out one value. For example, if you want to find out the y value, y, y's increased value, then x value will be given. Example, when we see example, we will get that clearly. So method name is unknown known method, unknown by known into known value. Clearly listen, known, known value, unknown, unknown by known the value known value. So next come to the indirect method. When x is increased, y will be decreased. When x is decreasing, y will be increased. The method the same. What is the inverse of unknown by known? Which is nothing but known by known. The same formula will be applicable. When we see for examples, then formula will be easy to know. Only thing you need to know, unknown by known method for Overall, for example, if you are solving percentages, profit and loss, simple test compound, test, time speed distance, time and work, wherever you go, you need these two methods alone, especially this method. This will come in a minimum part, around 20 percentage of the problems will come in indirect method. The remaining amount will be in direct method. If you know clearly about direct and indirect, then it's easy. For example, let's get an example. So, you are buying a chocolate, 10 pieces you are buying. For the rupees, 500. The chocolate is 500. You might be sharp. Okay, 10 pieces. We will consider that 10 pieces is 500. If the question is, if I need to purchase 15 pieces, how much I should carry? This is where you have to find out the answer. Okay, very simple. The question is, I bought 10 pieces of chocolate, which is which cost me 500 rupees. If I need to buy 15 pieces of the chocolate, then how much I should carry to the shop? That is the question. Listen here. Which one is known? Which one is unknown? We will look at it one by one. First of all, 10 pieces. Do I know the price of 10 pieces? Yeah. Do I know it? Yeah, I know it. So 10 pieces is known. Known value. What is the value of that known? 500 rupees. What is unknown here? 15 pieces is what unknown? I don't know the price of that 15 pieces. So that is unknown. So when you solve it, what, you, what is the formula? You know that unknown by known into known value. So always same kind of values will come in the numerator denominator. I have given three values here, 10 pieces, 15 pieces. 
and 500 rupees which both are two values are in same which which two are there very simple 10 and 15 are same type so either 10 or 15 will come in the numerator and uh, denominator so what will come in the numerator unknown where the value we don't know the value we don't know for 15 pieces so unknown is 15 so we'll fix 15 unknown and then what is the known value i know the value for 10 pieces so 10 pieces what is the price of the 10 pieces which is 500 rupees so when you solve this you will get the answer so 0 0 cancel 15 into 50 what is 15 into 50 so 750 is your answer so 750 is what the price of 15 pieces of the chocolate which i bought thank you we'll move to the next indirect method example there are five pipes filling a tank which can fill that tank in 15 hours okay got it five pipes are filling the tank which takes 15 hours to fill the tank if there were only three pipes of the same kind how many hours it will take to fill the tank listen there are five things, pipes fitted into a tank which takes 15 hours to fill the tank now we have reduced two pipes only three pipes are there what will happen to the time if you reduce the number of pipes what will happen to the time taken to fill the tank it obviously increases so when you look i am reducing the number of pipes the time taken is increasing that is why this is inverse inverse is very simple i already told you known by unknown and known value there are three values are there two values will be of same kind so five pipes and three pipes both are in same kind 15 hours is the one which is different so either these two any one of the thing will come as a numerator we know the numerator because it is inverse known value what i know five pipes filling capacity time is known so five is the known value i am going to fix five in the numerator and then unknown value is three pipes how many hours the three pipes takes to fill the tank that is what i don't know. three pipes so known value in the right side which is obviously 15 when you solve you will get the answer cancelling 3 into 15 5 times of 3 is 15 so 25 hours it takes 25 hours to fill the tank hopefully you got it if you are not clear listen the video again